what's up YouTube oh it is a Monday morning and I'm going to the bank <laughs> Do I ever go anywhere else? No, not really. But this is a special episode of season four because we have surpassed 300 subscribers. And I just wanna welcome all the new people to the channel and say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really means a lot to me that you guys uh, take the time, you know, to subscribe. I'm gonna try to keep pumping out those videos every chance I get. It is tough with limited time. I mean, you'd be surprised how long it takes to edit one video, one 10 to 15 minute video. Probably a good five hours. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but got a couple parts showing up today. Supposed to show up today, like the radiator guard. So I figured if it doesn't rain, be able to do a good little video on how to install the uh, I believe I got the EvoTech guard so we'll see what it takes to install that shouldn't be too hard other than the fact that there's not a whole lot of room up in the radiator area do I have to do it had to do it This road is bumpy. Oh. Oh no. Look at this. We're gonna go in the water. We're gonna go in the water. We're gonna go in the water. Woohoo. That water was hot. I felt it on my footsie. It was warm. I don't come up to this way that often. The road up here is actually a really, really good one. And I can show you where Central Sports used to be, which was my go-to motorcycle shop. Very unfortunate that they closed down. They were in business for a very long time. It's actually where I bought the ZX6R. Awesome guys, always treated me really good. But alas, they are no more. But they used to be right down there in that warehouse building right there. They had a big, big, big showroom. This place used to be uh, deserted. They turned it into condos. Me and my daughter were watching Biker Boys last night. And if you've never seen it, it's on Amazon Prime. So if you got Amazon Prime, just search Biker Boys. And uh, Boys is uh, with a Z, I believe. Now, towards the end of the movie, they go to Fresno to a drag track to do some Smackdowns. And lo and behold, and I even had to rewind it just to make sure I was seeing it correctly, right when they get to the drag track they show a Kawasaki on the strip getting ready to run and the gentleman lowers his visor and it says no other than Ricky Gatson to me that was just awesome you know there's not really any movies like biker boys you know it's basically the fast and the furious for motorcycle enthusiasts and for them to just very subtly throw in this Ricky Gatson scene, I thought was pretty cool. I would assume that what happened was when they went there for filming, he was there probably testing or something. And they were like, hey, you mind if we get a shot of you running down the track since you're the only one here who actually knows what they're doing? <laughs> all right, so hopefully all my stuff shows up that I'm expecting today. And if it does, we'll be back with some how-tos. Stay tuned. Everything's done. 
That was a lot of work to put a radiator grill on. You have to take off both side fairings, the under fairing, the coolant bottle. Oh yeah. But it's on there and it looks amazing. You take off the three side fairing bolts plus the one back here. You take off these three and the one down there. There's the RNG engine cover too. Then you come over here. You will remove one, two, push pins down there to the kind that you press in and then you can pull this out and then when you get to this inner lip piece there's another one of those on each side so here and on this side and then there's two way back here and then there's a Phillips screw right there that whole under piece will kind of pull out of there there is a tab that holds it right in the middle right here the radiator guard comes with little foam pieces that you're gonna line right to the edge of your radiator you want to use some alcohol brake clean get that cleaned up really good then you kind of line up the radiator guard oh well after you take the eight millimeter bolt holding the coolant bottle on you just kind of move it out of the way then you'll slide the guard up in there Make sure it goes under the horn and then comes up over the top lip of the radiator. And there's a plastic cover that kind of goes over the radiator. So make sure you get this over the lip but under the plastic. And you have your 8mm bolt at the bottom of the radiator. That's probably the hardest part is going to be getting that thing lined up with the radiator guard. Uh, at the top, it is a little little I mean it's not loose but there's some wiggle room there but that bolts obviously gonna hold it in and you just have to make sure that the lip is over the top lip of the radiator and then it cannot pull out so here's a little added bonus if you guys find your horn not working under certain situations like mine mine was not working while I was sitting still once I started driving the horn would work but when I tried to press the horn just parked it wouldn't make any noise. It would kind of just go, er, er, er. There is a screw behind the horn. Probably not going to be able to see it at all. But trust me, there is a screw behind that horn. And that is how you actually adjust the tone of the horn. So now it beeps all the time. We also put on the carbon fiber heel guards. They are the matte twill from Moto Composites. And I did have to drill out these holes. Well, I had to ream out these holes because the bolts would not fit all the way through and fit flush, which I will show you in the pictures. Now, interesting fact, behind the rear master cylinder is one washer on the bottom. The top one, no washer. Bottom, washer. I thought for the life of me, I had lost the top washer because you would think there'd be two spacers on it but uh there's only one and i was looking everywhere and i'm going crazy and i'm like oh i must have dropped it down in those cracks of the porch uh, and then i went and looked at the schematic and there's actually only one washer on the bottom one so a little food for thought there everything came out halfway decent the radiator guard definitely looks good up in there and that's all i got for you in this episode so Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.